My name is Hannah Shepherd, and I am the DRACAS manager for our Ajax programme, which means that I look after a database where we manage failure reports. As I got towards the end of my degree and I looked at the careers and sort of the job market out there, it became quite apparent that engineering is a very attractive option as well as having sort of the interest factor as well. I think diversity is really important in any industry for the breadth of knowledge and therefore people with different roots in are incredibly important because they will approach problems in different ways. My name is Kate Dean and I'm an Electromagnetic Compatibility or EMC Systems Engineer. The easiest way to think of EMC is to think that electricity can leak. So if we've got a turret it can leak into or out of the vehicle and it can affect radios and antenna and you just want to stop that happening. Being a female engineer at Lockheed, I've never had any negative comments at all. I've always found that perhaps people say it's really great to have a female perspective because I think you, you do offer a different approach when you're looking at problems. My name's Emma Ryan and I'm a research engineer at Lockheed Martin. I find engineering really exciting because I'm having an effect on the world around us. I study welding wire, which doesn't sound that exciting, but we're changing international laws based on my research, which means I'll have an impact on future generations and really make a difference. So I think we should be showing people that women can do these jobs by educating them at a younger age, by engineers, female engineers, going into schools and talking about what they do so other girls can realise that they're able to do this as well. There are lots of different jobs in engineering and I think researching the ones that are out there could help you decide whether it's right for you or not. My name's Nikki Barrett and I'm the Fightability Systems Engineering Lead on the Warrior Program here at Lockheed Martin and Till. That means I'm in charge of the systems engineering design for the systems that are the man-machine interface. So basically how the users fight the vehicle and how they interact with it. So things like the seats, the hand controllers and the switch panels for the weapon system. I had some really good teachers when I was at school that really encouraged me to go into engineering. Lockheed Martin are very encouraging of women in engineering and diversity and inclusion especially. They've been very supportive here and helped us set up a women in engineering committee. I'm Philippa Treasure and I'm a human factors design engineer. My job role involves making sure that when our soldiers are in the vehicles they can reach all the pieces of equipment, make sure that every control that is essential to their use can be accessed quickly or the less important controls go further behind the users. But then also, obviously, these tanks go into battle. It's so making sure when they're fighting, the users can get out if that tank gets hit. Here at Lockheed Martin, we have a wealth of opportunity for women. I particularly enjoy my work with the Women in STEM Committee, which has been funded by Lockheed to make sure we can make a difference to our local community. My name is Emma Dootson. I'm a systems engineer working in integration and test here at LMUK Amptil, and I focus mainly on survivability. Day to day, it's difficult to describe what I'm going to be doing because one day I can be down on a range blowing stuff up or testing armour systems, I can be driving armoured vehicles or I can be sat at my desk doing some document work. It's important to have diversity across the board in engineering. I think women is one of the ones that stands out because of the such low figure of 9% that is something that we really want to work on, especially with having the Women in STEM committee here at Lockheed. It's important because everyone's minds work different. Everyone is approaches problems in a different way, thinks different, analyzes things differently, and when you have the different minds coming together to do things like that, it's amazing what you can achieve by looking at things from different angles rather than just one straight ahead path. There are so many different types of engineering with so many different skill sets. And any background you come from, you can take something from that and put it into an engineering career. It's not a, a men's world anymore. We're here living proof that actually women can be engineers and we can be good engineers. And it's important that we're not wasting that skill set and missing out on all these opportunities. My first and foremost advice to anyone, not just a woman, considering engineering is do it. Give it a shot because even if you don't like the first thing you try in engineering, there's probably a thousand other things that you can try and do. It's not just this or this, it's honestly there's such a variety, I could stand and talk for hours. There are so many things happening in engineering right now and you can get involved and you can change the future. So I'd just say just do what you love, be passionate and if you want to get into engineering you will get there.